Just go right into doing the CPR. At a King City Firehouse Tuesday, crews give us an up-close look at one of their newest tools. The Lucas Mechanical CPR Device. Highly efficient, it's highly effective. Captain Tim Noakes says the device is one of three in service in the Tualatin Valley Fire and Rescue District. And as he explains, it couldn't come at a more ideal time. I've been doing this job for over 20 years and um, I feel a sense of stress, you know, this past, you know, nine or 10 months more than I've ever felt in my career. COVID-19 is the reason why. First responders could contract the coronavirus from any patient, but especially those in cardiac arrest. And chest compressions are a huge generator of that aerosolizing product. So when you're doing chest compressions physically on somebody's chest, they're obviously gonna be exhaling. Um, so there's that high potential, high risk potential for us coming in contact with those aerosolized particle of that uh, COVID-19. The Lucas Mechanical CPR device lessens the chances by doing the medic's work and allowing them to socially distance from their patients. On top of that, it provides a much more efficient and reliable chest compression. And so you're getting an exact rate, an exact depth, an exact rhythm all the time, as opposed to a you know, real live responder who is going to become fatigued. We carry two of them on our transporting medic units and one on an engine out in Estacada. Captain Mike Verkest of Clackamas Fire says they've been using Lucas mechanical CPR devices for months. So having mechanical CPR, being able to be right there and take the place of someone that we would normally be rotating a new person through every two minutes, has been a huge benefit for us. From Clackamas Fire to TVFNR, a new tool is providing a layer of safety during a pandemic crews never had before. And once we start seeing the data and we see the benefit of these machines, uh, the end game would be um, obviously to have these on every apparatus out there. We're told these mechanical CPR devices cost upwards of $15,000 a piece. TVFNR used grant money to purchase theirs. Clackamas Fire bought them outright as part of their strategic plan. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.